Welcome to an episode of Q&A, where we talk to folks about technology, gadgets, health, and more. Stay tuned and subscribe. How do we choose an in-ear monitor or IEM? What are the main differences between in-ear monitors and traditional headphones? In-ear monitors and traditional headphones are two very different types of audio equipment. In-ear monitors are designed to provide a more accurate and detailed sound experience, while traditional headphones are generally used for casual listening. Both types of audio equipment have their own unique advantages and disadvantages, so it's important to consider which one is best suited for your needs. We'll discuss the main differences between in-ear monitors and traditional headphones so you can make an informed decision about which type of audio equipment is right for you. What are the key features to consider when choosing an in-ear monitor? When choosing an in-ear monitor, there are several key features that you should consider. These include sound quality, comfort, noise isolation, and price. Each of these features is important for ensuring that you get the best possible experience from your in-ear monitor. Additionally, it is important to consider how long the battery life of the device is and whether or not it has any special features such as Bluetooth connectivity or noise cancellation. By taking all of these factors into account when choosing an in-ear monitor, you can ensure that you get the most out of your purchase. What type of sound profile do I need for my in-ear monitor? When it comes to choosing the right in-ear monitor for your needs, there are a few factors to consider. One of the most important is the sound profile you need. Different types of music require different types of sound profiles, so it's important to choose an IEM that has the right sound profile for your needs, especially if you are performing on stage, whether vocals or instruments. How important is noise isolation when selecting an IEM? Noise isolation is an essential factor to consider when selecting an IEM. It is important for both the listener and the artist, as it can make or break their experience. Noise isolation helps to block out external sounds and ensure that you are only listening to the sound that you wanted to hear. It also reduces feedback from the IEM, which can be a major issue in live performances. A good pair of IEM with great noise isolation will ensure that your performance is as good as it can be. Are there any special considerations when choosing an IEM for different types of music genres? When it comes to listening to music, there are many factors that can affect the experience. One of the most important is the type of headphones you choose. Different types of music genres require different types of headphones in order to get the best ambience and experience. For example, bass-heavy genres like EDM and hip-hop require headphones with a powerful bass response while classical music requires more accurate sound reproduction. When selecting IEMs for different types of music genres, it is important to consider factors such as frequency response, sound stage, and comfort level in order to get the most out of your listening experience. How can I test the sound quality of an IEM before purchasing? Purchasing an in-ear monitor can be a tricky process, as it is important to find the right one that meets your needs. To make sure that you get the best sound quality out of your purchase, it is important to test the sound quality of an in-ear monitor before you buy it. This means that you should go to an actual store and test the product out, rather than buying online without ever trying it out. You can listen to sample tracks, comparing against different earbuds, and using a sound testing app. By following these steps, you can ensure that you get the highest quality audio experience from your purchase. Are there any safety issues to consider when using an IEM? As with any technology, there are safety issues to consider when using an IEM. These devices can cause hearing damage if used improperly or for too long. Additionally, they can be a source of infection if not cleaned and maintained properly. It is important to take the necessary precautions when using an IEM in order to ensure that your hearing and overall health remain safe.